Hey there folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we are playing a game called Hotel Renovator and this one is from Focus Entertainment. I was provided a code for this one some time ago. This game came out in March and I'm super grateful to be taking a look at this one. I do want to mention though that this game is coming out on console and it is coming out sometime this year. So it is currently being obviously developed for console and as you can see, we are starting off here in this wonderful, lovely hotel, even though it's rather ran down. It's going to need, it's going to need some renovation work, that's for sure. But I'm sure you'll agree that the general aesthetic here is one which is pleasing and is one which is obviously showing signs of being something which is going to be special once it's actually finished. And just to start off with, to mention, I've turned down the music, I've turned down the voice, so that should hopefully help us to get started started without any interruptions if you do enjoy this video please do hit the like button i can't tell you how much it would help me i do get a lot of views and i don't think i ask for likes enough to be honest with you because i don't often get a great deal of likes and i think that's just because i don't ask so please do hit the like button it would help me out a great deal against the youtube algorithm if you're not subscribed to the channel i'd love it if you'd go ahead and do that as well that would help me out a great deal anyway let's get cracking so let's get this door open and then we'll get this episode started. Right, so we're going into our first room. We will close this door behind us. And we're going to start by picking all this junk up. Um, let's see. So, I think we can hold down the mouse button to get rid of stuff instead of just picking it up like we were doing there but a lot of this stuff can just go and as you can see there is um a lot of stuff to get rid of a lot of stuff to sell and a lot of stuff to actually deal with here i don't know what we can do about these radiators but we'll certainly get rid of the rest of this stuff and the more that we go into this room you'll see how much junk there is for us to get rid of and I think the best thing to do, really, um, if we click right mouse button, does that get rid of it? If we pick it up? No, it just puts it down. Okay, so we'll continue to hold down the mouse button just to get rid of these things. There's a lot of clicking in this game, but the good thing is there is a lot of things that do happen, which um, there's a lot of quality, quality of life stuff, let's put it that way, that makes things a lot easier than some of the other renovation games like Train Station Renovator and even House Flipper. But we are make, working our way through getting rid of all this junk stuff here. And once we've done this, I'll show you what the next step is going to be. But we will play like this and just get it done for the time being. Um, I'm trying to see, but there is a gauge somewhere that tells you how well you're doing with these things. Uh, I've picked that up by accident. There's a rope here as well. Um, there's also golden eggs in this game. So if you see any laying around, you can pick them up and uh, you get money for those. It's $1,000. So they come in useful because obviously it costs money to do the renovation work. But that's what we're going to do today. Trying to see our stats, actually, because that would be helpful, wouldn't it? Um, hold on, I've accidentally picked that up. Can I sell these things? I'm sure I can. I thought we'd... Ah. There we go. So... Our next step is to clean up the mess. So as you can see in the top right now, it is showing our statistics in terms of our percentage of how much we've done. So what we're going to do is hold the right mouse button and select the remove tool. And then we're going to hit things um, to break them. So basically, lights are coming off the wall. Now, I'm pretty sure this isn't standard technique, especially not with the curtains for removing them. I'm pretty sure you don't just smash them. But anyway, especially, I mean, those radiators are just being shattered to pieces, aren't they? But, yeah, the bath. One strike and it's gone. Uh, it's quite amusing, I think. 
Let's try this one. Oh, it's either one left or right. It's not both, right? Okay. Um, and this and these lights. Oops. That's okay. We're going to replace all the wall stuff because that needs to be removed anyway. And I'll show you what I mean now by quality of life because now with a lot of games, you would be forced to click, click, click away like this and remove the stuff in this fashion. You know, you're just basically using a lot of time. And I imagine on um, a controller, Xbox controller or PlayStation controller, that that would take a lot of time. As where with this game, you can hold down the mouse and it gives you a much larger surface. Um, I'm sure that'll be the same on the console version as well, that you'll be able to just click in a large area like that with a button, uh, whether it be A or X or whatever. And you can just select a massive area. And it just makes things a lot easier. And it makes it a lot faster as well. And it means that obviously the quicker that you get through that stage, the more enjoyable it is. Because things like that can be really tedious otherwise. And I'm grateful to say that this game does provide a bit of quality of life in that area. Which does make it a bit easier. Um, so we don't have a release date for the console version at the moment. But I did want to cover this PC version because I do think that it, it's a rather relaxing game. And if you enjoy this, let me know in the comment section because I'll do more episodes on this game. And if you don't enjoy it, let me know as well because it, it just helps me to be able to uh, make the right choices in the content that I make. Um, obviously, I want to cover everything. Uh, there's plenty of games at the moment, simulation and, and not simulation games that I want to cover. But it's difficult to know exactly which ones to do which ones to invest the time into um so let me know in the comment section what you want to see as well that would be fantastic right let's um i think we've done around that window i'm not too sure whether that's adding to our stats there or not i should have really checked that it isn't but we're going to clear it anyway because it, it just looks a bit old doesn't it it looks a bit awful so i think by replacing that, I think that'll help in the long term just to make this place look better. Although I think that you can paint over it still um, without um, removing it. I'm just If you accidentally click the wrong thing or you don't hit something, it stops you from using the tool. So, yeah, it's, that can be a slight frustration. But we are most definitely making good progress here, that's for sure. Let me know in the comment section as well what games you guys have been playing. I do play more than just simulation games. I've been playing Resident Evil 4 as of late and having a fantastic time with it. Um, so I tend to play, generally speaking, on the PC now, above all. But I do play a little bit on the Xbox as well. And we are certainly getting there, that's for sure, with this job. There's a few other games I'll be covering soon that I've got Steam keys for that I really want to put some time into um, just to show you. Um, I have had a lot of busy times recently um, and not a lot of free time to make videos for you guys, but I do want that to change. So we are going to be cracking on with more videos. Have I removed that floor piece? I did, didn't I? And we'll continue to do this bit. And as you can see in the bot in the top right, it is adding on to our stats by doing this. Uh, we are going to have to sweep up in a sec, I think. Potentially, at least. Um, but we'll continue to break these things for now. Some things to pick up there, I think. Ah, it doesn't seem to want to let me. It is saying that we're on 95% trash, so I wonder what that means. Because I thought I'd pretty much picked up everything, but could be wrong I'll have to have a little look around I think and see if there's anything left to click on eighty one percent in terms of walls now and we are going to make sure that we cover all of them because when it comes to replacing the stuff we want to do a good job we don't want to leave it sort of half done 
even the ceiling the ceilings you see i think though we can repaint the ceilings so i'm not going to worry too much about those if he doesn't kind of force me to do it because it does say that we've done our flat floor surfaces so that's been done quite nicely um so 100 percent, 100 percent, just the trash now now it says 100 percent, but there's a couple more bits there so trash wise what are we missing what are we missing, eh? Um, I, th I think we've got everything, so I'm a little confused, to be totally honest with you. Is there anything on the... Ah, look at that. Is it going to... Ah, there we go. That was the one. Okay, next. There's a lot of rubble on the floor after all that mayhem you caused. You've got some cleaning up to do. So we're going to select the brush now. And we can just hold down and get rid of a lot of stuff again at the same time. So you could go along and just like click once like this, which is one way of doing it. But I just think to hold down and then just do a massive area is miles easier because we're now 77% done and 90%. And that says we're done, but there's some in the corner here that we haven't done. Now it's time for a new floor and walls. Choose something modern and tasteful. We will do that. We'll just get rid of these two bits first. Okay. Right then. So, we're going to be choosing a tool and select the coverage style and then switching the colours and then holding to start covering. So, next up, we are going to do... See, we'll start with the ceilings, I think. I think that seems logical. Um, paint, you've got Kawaii style ceiling set. Let's see what that is. Oh, wow, that could be quite funny. Cats. Okay, I, I yeah, I, this isn't my style, but you know what? For the sake of comedy, I think it could be quite funny. Let's do cats. Let's see what happens. How do we actually draw it? Because it's not really... Allowing us to do this one. But it says $4. Does that mean that we don't have enough money? Or I don't know why it's not allowing us to draw it. Ah, it won't let us draw that one. Why not? But it'll let us paint with this boring white. And there you go. You see it gets painted like that. still got this dumb dull light above us here but as you can see you can draw and then it paints it in for you like that which i think is pretty cool i think that's pretty cool um let's get rid of this light okay well we will be putting new lights in don't worry i'm not just smashing lights for the fun of it uh, we will actually replace them so it's allowing us to paint with this pure white but it won't let us do the quiet okay we'll maybe give that another go in a second see what happens but it lets you go all the way along there. And then this will start and we can actually move to the next bit. So there you go, you see. So that's painting. Um, we can move over here and start doing this one. We have missed one there. And it kind of lets you only do the bits that you haven't selected already so you're not kind of over you're not kind of going over the same bit twice if that makes sense okay it'd be good to do around these windows as well i think but we are going to select um a wall paint for that did we get all of that i think we did okay have we done all the ceiling uh i think so okay Let's see if we can do the ceiling in here now. See if we can go back to that quiet style. Cats again. It doesn't want to let... It won't let us. I wonder why. I thought we'd done all this. This is a common thing. I don't know whether it's just me or whether it's the game. But yeah. Um, tiles in here, I think. Large tiles. Hmm, won't let us select those for some reason. 
Not too sure why. Again, we'll go with paint then, I guess. It'll let us paint. I wonder why it won't let us do the other things. Maybe it told us just to paint. I thought we were going to go with tiles though, but anyway. Okay, well, there we go. Okay, so that's that bit. We'll do walls, I think, next. Walls. Um, ah, so it's actually... It's, ah, no, it's, once we've selected it, it says that we can do it. Is it going to let us do this one? Oh, it will now. Awesome, it'll let us do this wall. Maybe that one's just for walls, right? Wow, that's really fun. <laughs> okay, we've got a wall of Kwai. Let's see if we can do one more over here. There we go, guys. So now we're going to have to have bright colours for the rest of it. Um, let's see if we can find a nice one. Okay. I wish it would let you select like a larger area other than just tiles, but at least you can just like, you know, run the mouse over it like that. I am trying to design it here myself. So we've got those ones. Um, oh no, I didn't want to do those ones. Uh, let's do these ones. That's what I wanted to do. And we'll see what this is going to look like. It might look absolutely ridiculous, but you never know until you've done it. That's for sure. Okay, we'll do this wall as well, I think. And that goes on quite nicely. It's like there is a there's a definite art to it. Same as the real thing, really, but obviously this is way easier just doing this on a mouse and actually painting the wall, but I'm sure you gathered that bar already. I'm trying to keep the walls, um, you know, like different to each other, if that makes sense. So two, like a two-tone effect. Okay, so... We have done a lot of the walls, but I do want to do, um, oh no, guys, I've actually painted on that Kauai thing by accident now. Right, let me take a look and see what I've done there. Try and put that right. We will remember, and we'll come back to that bit. I missed a bit up there, look. Right, that's going to have to be the wisteria, isn't it? I think doing these a darker colour might be a good idea, just to give it a bit of flair. Does that work? It kind of does. It kind of does. Right, let's fix the... Actually... We need to do, let's, let's finish doing our, our walls. It was pure white, wasn't it? Right, we'll get this in here like this. And let's see where we're at. Okay, let's go back to sorting this little issue out. It won't let us do that one. No. Why won't it let us do that? Are we going to have to paint the whole wall? Let's try painting the whole wall and then we'll put the Kawhi back. Man, this is costing us money, I think. It certainly is. Because you obviously can't just put one little square of the thing and it's got to be like wallpaper, hasn't it? We shall try again. 
Once we've done this. Oh, no, it won't let us do it now. Why? Why won't it let us do it now? Oh, that's really sad. Okay, let's at least paint it now with the pure white, which I think we've done. It just looks a bit dark. And the remnants of Kauai in the background. Oh, no. Okay, at least we've got it on that wall. Right, let's paint the walls in here. We'll just do these white, I think. we still got to do floors yet, so we're going to put something in there. Obviously, tiles or carpet. We'll just do these white in here, I think, just to give it a bit of um, brightness, because obviously there's no windows in here, so we want to try and obviously keep the brightness coming in, don't we, as best as possible. So we'll get this in there like that. It says we've missed a spot again, so we'll do that. There we go. And wall uh, floors now, sorry. Let's do our floors. And ceramic tiles, carpets, I think would be nice. What colours can we have for this one? Not amazing, to be fair. Okay, I want to do something relatively nice, but I just... I want to actually... Um, I think a darker style might work well. In fact, not that one. Let's, let's try... Kind of grey. Mm, may not work. Okay, let's just put a basic carpet in. And see how we, how we get on with this. Bear in mind, this is the very first room of our hotel, so... I think we're doing alright so far. I think we're doing a pretty good job. And as you can see, that gets dropped in like that. And in the meantime, we can continue to fill this out like this it looks all right i think it looks all right just confirming up the top right there that we are now 100 percent on our walls so that's a good sign because it was say 99 but obviously i hadn't quite finished doing the ones in the, in the bathroom i hadn't quite finished putting those in for us as we'd painted them Right, we'll go with tiles in here, I think. What comes under other? Ah, grass, okay. Ceramic tiles. I think these are fine, just for the sake of getting something neat in, uh, something reasonable for our hotel guests to enjoy. And there we go. So that part's done, so now we're going to do furniture. So we'll go out of there and out again. And let me see if I can remember how to do the furniture. Okay. Just waiting for the instruction to finish. Um, okay, it's basically telling you how to rotate with either Q or E and then highlight the placed item, press space bar, switch between material and colour with tab, there we go, so furniture, right, so let's start with a bed, ah, that's a nice one to start off with, isn't it, right, so we'll rotate this round, um, I think putting it here is just absolutely fine. Yep, nice. And next we need a couple of units, a couple of cabinets, should I say. Let's put these in here. Push them right back against the wall. Um, next up, a table. OK. 
Okay, maybe something like that. Couple chairs. Okay, a lot of these are locked. What do you think? Maybe something like that? Yep, okay. And next up, um, sofa style thingy me bob. Or just a sofa, not a sofa style thingy me bob, eh? Okay, so we can edit styles here. That looks good. Well, I don't know. Does it look good? Let me know in the comment section if you would stay in this hotel room. Um, coffee table. Uh, I'm not too sure on this one, to be honest with you. We don't have a lot of space, so... Um, maybe something like that. It could, and it could just fit there in the corner. Or just like that. There we go. Right, next up. Um, how many armchairs? Just the one. And again, space. You can select the style. That might be alright. Put that there. And then we have got... Um, a closet. What's the best place to put this? Maybe over here. What's happened there? Seems a little confused as to what we're doing, but I think we got there in the end. Again, different wood styles. Oh no, it's not, is it? There we go. So hoping for something a little lighter. I, I can tap to colours. Actually, red looks kind of different. Might as well keep it different, right? Let's close that bathroom door so that we don't, don't keep going in there by accident like I was. Okay, I've come out with furniture by accident, but shelves now? Uh, how many? He wants us to put... Two shelves, so I think one and two. Are they even lined up? I'm not too sure. They look all right. Okay, we're going to go in the bathroom now. We'll close the door. If we can. Doesn't help that we've got a shelf in our hand. Uh, we're going to do bathroom accessories, so let's start off with a sink. Oh no, this is a tub, obviously. I mean, I know, looking at it, but I mean, just from the top corner. <laughs> okay, that looks kind of space age in, in a kind of way, but ah, kind of not at the same time, right? Toilet. I don't know whether I like this bathroom at all, to be honest with you. Sink. Uh, a couple of cupboards are going to go in. Let's see what we've got. Is that the right way? Ah, oh, no, it's not. There we go. That's not going to fit. Maybe next to each other like that. It's not really lined up properly, that, but... Ah, oh, well, what can you do? Toilet paper, of course, we're going to need that. And then some other sort of accessory a towel. And then, finally, bathroom accessories again. Toothpaste, woman's perfume. We'll put a bit of perfume there. And a towel. Can this fit here? There we go. Oh, well, it's fell. <laughs> it's fallen out, but what can you do? Right, new decorations. Um, let's see. 
Ah, this is quite nice out here. Not too sure about in here, but anyway, whatever. Um, we will put some lighting in there when we get to it, actually. But, let's see. So, where's our decorations? It's in this same place, I think. That's a Kawaii furniture set. That's kind of cool. Right, so, first up we can actually find it decorations and there's a lot to offer actually um so there's this weird thing here i don't know what that represents but that can go there uh what else have we got this thing which is going to take up the table and be utterly useless <laughs> what's that i don't know what, how, where this would go would it stand or i guess so This thing can go there. Rub this here. I don't know. I just feel like we're cluttering the place now. But uh, wall decorations. Ah, because everybody likes a dog and cat. There we go. And what else can we have? There's all sorts of stuff you can have. <laughs> Flamingo light. Why not? This is a mishmash now, isn't it? A plant. Let's see if we can put the plant somewhere. Now, is the plant going to stay on there? Yes, it is. Grateful for that. Right, okay. Let's see. Lamps. Ah, just a standard one, I think. That looks quite nice. There we go. And now we've got wall lights. So, wrong one. Wall lights. Let's see about this. Maybe that one there. And then one over here. Um, we're going to put some lights in here as well. So ceiling lights. I think one, obviously, in the bathroom. It must, isn't it? We need at least one. Let's face it. We need at least one ceiling light in the bathroom. That's quite nice and bright now. Not too bad. Can we get out of here now? And just see if we can put something down here as well, like that. And there we go. So that's our first renovation done, I think. And we've done one there, guys. I really hope you've enjoyed this one. We're going to hit space bar, and then it's, the room's going to become available for our guests. And there we go. It's going to show us what it was like before and what it's like after now. So that's quite cool, right? And then you can see the different pictures as well from different angles. Looks a lot better than what it did. Yeah, it was a mess before. We don't have any curtains in, I've just noticed. But anyway, we can book the room. And as you can see, a guest has come in already. Paying $200 a day. And they're in here. And we're in here. And we should really leave, right? But anyway, guys, I want to say I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have... I'd love you if you'd come back for more and let me know in the comment section that you've enjoyed this one because we will be doing this again. As you can see, our first guest has checked in and they are satisfied. So that's us sorted, guys. We're done with this one. Really hope you've enjoyed it and I'll catch you again soon.